Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Bones by Imagine Dragons. I'm going to put my capo on the first fret. That will put me right in there. Key. Alright. First thing you hear in the song is the keyboard comes in. And the keyboard's actually hitting two F, F notes in octaves. Uh, I'm playing a, like an E5 chord here, but because of the capo, it ends up being F, an F5. Um, so I'm adding a note that I don't think the keyboard's got in there, but by playing those three strings, but not a big deal. And it never comes back again, so we're just trying to emulate as best we can what they're doing. So in E5 is your fifth string and your fourth string second fret, and I'm hitting six, five, and four only. I'm not hitting the top three strings, I'm muting those. I just, well, I just never hit them. And that's the first thing you hear, and then and it repeats. And if you can do that, you got the whole song. It just repeats different strum patterns, and uh, sometimes it leaves that last chord out. But um, we'll go over the little sections here. So. A minor, 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret, okay, and I hit it real quick, uh, well I just kind of let it ring, uh, da, 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 da. and then you take that same uh, pattern and move it up for an E chord, so now it's the 3rd string 1st fret and the 5th string 4th string 2nd fret, you can strum all the strings on that one, then you can go to any G chord you want, uh, every single one of them works, uh, Sixth string third fret and first string third fret. That one will work. You can use your first finger on the fifth string second fret. That one will work. You can leave both of those down and add the first two strings third fret. That's a G chord that a lot of people play. It does not matter. Okay, it's just a G chord. Okay, any one of those will do. Uh, then the keyboard's actually playing a D slash F sharp. You can use a regular D chord if you want. 3rd string, 2nd uh, fret, 1st string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret. You could just play a regular D. Um, if you're a little bit more advanced, your thumb could grab the 6th string, 2nd fret. That's the F sharp. And slash chords, it's a D slash F sharp, which means they're just changing the bass note underneath the D. Okay? F sharps are always in D chords anyway. They're always there, you just don't know it. Well, maybe you do. Okay. So that's our verse. So it's A minor, da, 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 E, da, 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 some sort of G, da, 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 da. and then the D with the F sharp, or the D regular. Then you repeat it. Then G, and then the D. Okay, and then my, that's the verse, and it repeats like that. And then the pre chorus does the same thing, but leaves the D chord out, and it doesn't repeat. So it's uh, my patience is waning, is this entertaining? And then patience is waning, and then you're out for a measure. Okay? So that's your pre-chorus, which is A minor to the E, and then the G, and then you're out for a measure, and then you come in with the choruses A minor to an E, to a G, to the D, or D slash F sharp, the one. is down strokes. You could palm mute it if you like. This next part would sound cool palm muted. It goes into the second verse and it does that same thing. So uh, the chorus is the same four chords in a row and it repeats and all I'm doing is down down down. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on each chord. Okay, that's it. That's the chorus. Uh, then verse 2 comes in, and verse 2 is the same as the chorus. All downs. You could palm mute it. Sounds like they are. Be cool. The chorus comes back, and that's the part my page is. It only does this once, and then no D chord. Then you're back to another chorus. Okay, and you're 
repeat that. And then there's a post chorus. Uh, it's the only time in the song. I can't remember what's going on. It must be some sort of instrumental thing, but they do the same chords. But this time they only go through them once. Okay? Hope I'm not going too fast for you. Then the bridge comes in. <clears throat> it's the same chords. A minor to E, G to D slash F sharp. And it repeats, but this time they only hit it once. And then you have the pre-chorus comes back. My patience is waning as this entertaining. And, and of course they leave the D out. And then the whole rest of the song is... And they just ride it out. You have to end it. Probably an A minor. I never really thought about it. I think they fade out, but don't remember. But that's it. That's all there is to Bones. Okay? Uh, I gave you the chords, I think. Capo 1, you're good to go. Uh, wicked simple song. If you know that progression, you can fit that in. I know I gave you a lot of different uh, parts, information, and stuff, but I've you know I broke it all down. So hit that like button, please subscribe, and play more guitar.